this is the series where I buy Uncle Mel from my local swap meet for $1 each and I open it on camera and yes, it's legal. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Alrighty. Man, I feel like uh, I'm like getting back to normal. Like I'm really been busting out videos lately. Well, maybe not on here, but on TikTok. I don't know. Do most of you follow me here? Follow me only here or on TikTok? I'm just curious, like, as to how you found me. But anyways, all right. So, uh, all right, let's get to it. You know, this bag was very heavy today when I was bringing this downstairs. I was just like, damn. All right. This bag. Okay, this is like really heavy. I don't know what that is. Oh, I keep spilling that. Um, this? Oh, you're so heavy. And then these two. God, those are heavy. Whoa, I forgot to scribble out the address on this one. See, I do this. I thought I had done it on all of them, but I do this. I had a bunch of friends help me scribble out all the addresses because. I used to just leave them, but people start to complain in my videos and say that like it was rude. Um, oh, seriously, God damn him. You know, don't you just hate it when you don't put shit back where it belongs? God, it drives me crazy. You know, a couple days ago, I got Chipotle and I love Chipotle, but oh, I always, every time I eat it, I feel sick after either because I feel too full or it makes me feel sick, but like, it's just so good. And I got it a couple days ago and I felt like I was gonna burst after I was done. I always get like a burrito bowl and dip like the chips in it. Oh, it's like my favorite thing to do. And I've just been craving it lately and I want it again today, but I'm like, Stephanie, don't do it. I'm like, you know, you're gonna regret it after. You're gonna feel sick to your stomach, you know? I mean, uh, do you guys ever feel that way about certain places? It's just triple A for me all the way. Like, I think that's why like I love sushi um, is because like I can eat like a good amount of sushi and not feel so full I'm gonna burst afterwards, you know? Uh, I don't know, it's uh, annoying, but I'll probably get Chipotle today. I'm like, I deserve it. All right, uh, let's do this. <laughs> Dude, my camera's acting up. I had to stop and take a quick coffee break. It's just one of those days. This does not taste like Rice Krispie Treats either. All right. No way. Wait a minute, I think I've got this before. Hold on, hold on, let me think here. First of all, ugh, first of all, spaghetti in a can, what the hell, right? But I think I got this before. Oh, wait, 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 nope, nope, nope. Uh, the one I got before was the Heinz macaroni and cheese. Wait, so there's a spaghetti? Dude, I have been getting so much foods lately. Like that is crazy. I love it. I love it though when I get stuff like this because I've never heard of this. I never tried it. I love to try it with like friends and family. I think the last time I got something like this, we even made a video. It was like months ago, but. So like when I make my coffee, I'm very particular. I'm a big time calorie counter. So I put exactly four tablespoons of creamer <laughs> because, you know, I'm counting them calories. That's. You know, I'm a, I'm a control freak. I can admit it, I'm a control freak big time. 
But yeah, that's what I do. And this coffee is the best, the Electric Buzz from Trader Joe's. That is all we will drink. It is great. Okay, but, oh my God. All right, I mean, has anyone tried this? I don't think this is from the US. Nope, the UK, there you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the one I got before was macaroni and cheese. All right, I'm gonna have to make a video of me trying this with somebody because how can this, has anyone tried this? Anybody, let me know. I just don't know how this can be good. The last time we tried one of these, the mac and cheese, it was like very bland. So let me know, let me know, fun. All right, next, there's my finished product in case anybody cares. Sorry for the slurp. Okay, here we go. Item parcel number two. Uh, this, I'm afraid I'm gonna cut whatever's in here because it just feels like it's bursting. Whoa. I'm telling you, why don't people, why do people pack things like this? Oh, shit. No way. No. So far, so good. Okay. Wow. Please be something good. Um, this looks hella dirty. Wow. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, this looks very authentic, but it also looks very worn. This is used for sure. It's very dirty, but let's see. Ooh, what beautiful lining. Ooh, that's not good. I mean, I, I why would somebody sell it in, like without cleaning it? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. This is authentic. I can just tell it's very heavy. It's very, I could just tell, okay? Um, yeah, this is a real coach bag for sure. However, it's very used and very dirty. So I think I'm going to buy like a leather cleaner, make another video showing me get this all like spruced up and I'm going to list it for sale. I mean, cause this is a beautiful purse. Actually, the lining is beautiful. I'm going to try to clean this. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos, see what I can do. But like, this is a great find actually. Um, it just needs a little tender, loving care, you know? All right. Next. Okay, I'm really sorry. I Something's wrong with my camera today. Like it keeps like glitching out after I've already been filming for like almost a minute. Um, anyways, so I had already started to open this <laughs> and it glitched out. But anyways, there we go. Dude, something's up. Anyway, all right, what do we got here? Does that say snowballs? I'm like, that is not snowballs. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Snowballs. Okay. I am, I am very confused. Um, so I'm gonna put a little picture picture. If you live here in America, we have a dessert called snowballs. Here's what they look like. It's like a hostess snack. And they have like the pink ones. Uh, I forget what other colors they have. But like, these are called snowballs too. And it says coconut covered marshmallow, which is exactly what the ones here in America are too. So like, who made snowballs first? Established 1890. All right, April 30th, 2022, we are approaching, but where's this from? Oh, wow. What kind of writing is that? Does anybody know? Oh, that looks rough here. Um, Scotland. Okay, is anyone, do you guys have these where you live, anybody? And if so, who made the snowball dessert first? This is so interesting. I'm gonna have one of these right now, actually. I'm like, I'm so intrigued. <laughs> Hold on, let me set up the camera so you can see me eat it. All right, if my camera glitches out again, I'm gonna freak out. <gasps> messy, oh my God, these are so messy. 
I can tell you right now, American snowballs don't fall over the place like that. It, I think that's because they're more processed probably. These are like brown with coconut. I don't know. Does that mean it's chocolate? <gasps> Whoa. Oh my God. These are amazing. These are a hundred times better than the ones from America. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. These are so good. Oh my God. Wow. Mmm. Okay. Those are so good. Good. Oh my God. I have to know. I have. Oh wow. I have to know if anyone knows the history with all that. This envelope is so clean, by the way. That one I just opened, it's so funny with these. They're either, they're usually, I would say 80% of the time super dirty, but sometimes I'll get one that's like very clean and I'm like, how did that happen? All right, what do we got here? What is this? See, every time I see a jewelry box, I'm like, ooh, jewelry, but it's never what I think it's gonna be. Okay, this actually says jewelry on it. Molten jewelry. Oh, shit. We actually got a bracelet here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't mind my chipped nail there. Wow. This is really pretty. Is that like a amethyst, I think? Ooh. These look like very porous. Like, I feel like I want to look this up. Okay, it just says molten jewelry. Like, what does that mean? Ooh, I mean, this is so pretty, right? I gotta look this up. Hold on, hold on, let me look this up real quick. Okay, I think this is like an Etsy seller, maybe? From what I just found, I am not sure, but it's very beautiful. I think I'm gonna sell this. All right, next, last but not least. All right, last, this one is very heavy. And it is kind of plain, but this one is so heavy. What is this? One day one of these envelopes is gonna kill me. Stop my sore. Finish with this one. Spray paint? <laughs> what the hell? What? Rust protector, glass, gloss enamel. Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Oh boy, that's white. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm making a mess all over my fuck freaking granite countertops. Ugh. Um, <laughs> that's what I get, right? Okay, uh, that's somebody sent somebody uh, spray paint in the mail. That's great. Um, that could have like exploded or something too. Maybe that's why it's acting like this. All right, I gotta go clean this up. That's all I got for today, guys. Bye.